Hello, I'm Professor McCoy. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now, this is not a live stream. I'm pre-recording just a little bit here. Um, call this a little redo video. I, uh, I want to just really just casually re-record. Re um, going back and redoing some of Henry's god-awful bad decisions uh, from the end of last week's stream, um, I'm going to see basically what happens if we don't if we decide not to uh, go drinking uh, with the priest in, uh, in Ujits. Ah, jeez. Uh, let's see, how far back do we have to go? Like an hour. Oh no, that's only... Oh no. No, it's like an hour. So we'll see how long this takes. Hopefully not too terribly long. Um, but yeah, we'll see how long this takes. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna fast forward and skip through in the recording. I'm gonna skip through some of the... Uh, some of the stuff that we've already done uh, and so you'll only get to the parts where, that, that are new that are different so here we go okay. uh, hello sir Radzik. Jesus. Lord of birth, they did a hell of a job on him. Must have been agony. How come no one heard anything? What's this? Looks like someone's hit him very hard on the head. Could they have bludgeoned him to death and then gutted him? That would explain why he didn't scream. Okay, that's actually something that we didn't find out before. So that's good to know. <laughs> Okay, here we go. All right, so I have gotten through everything up until this point. The investigation went exactly as it did last time. We found new, no new information. We reached a dead end with the priest. And so now we're not going to drink with him and see how this goes. Fingers crossed that it doesn't ruin everything or that he doesn't get into the same trouble without our near occasion of sin. Well, let's see what happens. Well, enjoy it, Father. I have to go now. I'm not much in the mood for a drink. <sighs> I thought you'd be more game. So you won't help me out with that secret? No, I won't. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, that's it. Huh? So... I know he was supposed to talk to... We were supposed to... He's going to do something in the morning still? Let's see. My respects to you. No, nothing. Okay. Okay, he it, he said he's going to do something in the morning, so let me see. Um, at this point, find out if anyone knows anything about the Billy Bosch. Wait. Who would know something about Lippy Lubosch? Oh, that's the tourney. Okay, 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 okay. There's a quest here. I don't know. Sorry, an activity giver. Not what I'm looking for. No, one here too. Activity giver? Yeah. Okay. I'll see about those eventually. Maybe next actual stream. Uh, for now, I still just need to find out if anyone knows anything about Limpy Lubosh. I'm still on that one. Otherwise, I can wait until morning, I suppose. Right. That's it, right? That's where I'm at. Find out if anyone knows anything about Limpy Lubon. Yeah, I guess maybe in the morning I'll try the priest again. All right, I'm gonna, I'm probably not gonna cut the rest of this. I do think I just want to go through. Um, sleep and save. Is a new save. I'm not overwriting anything. Uh, let's go to dawn, daybreak. We're gonna have to go to mass. I suppose. I really hope I don't miss this. 
Let's see. I should wake up a little earlier. Yeah, I probably should. I think I'll cancel around 4.30. Uh, done. Right there. Right there. Okay, there's a tourney today in Rate. Okay, well, whatever. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. Probably not. Honestly. Uh, time may permit. We'll see. I mean, listen. After I'm done doing this actual recording thing, maybe I'll go do a tourney in Rate. Or maybe that's what we'll start with uh, next stream on Thursday. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? I am leaving. I guess it is still pretty dark out, so maybe I'm too early. That's fine. Let's go into the church. Yeah. Ooh. Should I check the presbytery? Move is the house. Uh, there. Okay, well, he's not a drunken mess, so that's good at least. So I guess I will sleep for, or wait for a little bit. Let's see how this goes. It's still barely sunrise, so... He's still sleeping! Oh, come on now. just in case we get into more crap. <laughs> Alright. Uh, should I wait another hour? Maybe I should. Let me see. I'm gonna wait right there. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, right? 7 a.m.? That's time for mass, I think. Not for me, of course. I, uh, I pretty consistently go to either 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. Because, you know, three kids and all that. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 he's up. He's up. Does that mean he's in the church? Maybe, just maybe. No. You know, I'm honestly a little bit disappointed that this game doesn't have just a, f a full mass ever. Ever that I'm at least so My far. respects to you. Oh, there. Wait, Father, really? Didn't I see you outside practicing swordplay? I wouldn't have expected that from with a stick. I practiced with a stick. God be with you. No. Okay. Jesus Christ be praised. How may I serve you? Um. You live here? Of course. I mean here. In the presbytery. Yeah, right here. In the presbytery? With the parish priest? Yes. What's the matter? Don't you like me? Uh, yes, of course I like you. So why are you surprised Godwin likes me too? I'm not. I mean, I see. I think. Good luck then. Okay, um... Huh. Interesting. You get... He in here? Yeah. Okay, there's a... There's a tourney in Rate. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But that's not what I'm concerned about right now. I'm more concerned about this. Find out if anyone knows anything about Limpy Lubash. Um... Win the tourney if you can. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, 
have a bad one. May the Lord Thank watch over you. Is this no? I thought that would be Yanhus. Thought that would be this is uh, sermons or something. But it's not. Okay, I um, huh. Interesting. So now I have no leads at all. Oh boy. Well, this makes things somewhat more difficult. Is this, is this a shop? It's set up like a shop. Oh, well, there's a whole bunch of clothes sitting right here. Oh no, this is that. This is that barn, isn't it? Back to the church. Anyway, uh, huh? Well, okay. Um, let's wander around Ujits. For a bit. I'm gonna do some more just chatting with everybody I can find. Um, I may fast forward through some of this. We'll see. Good day to you. I've come in the name of... Of course! That man Lou, he was a drunk. Have you noticed that? Well, now I think of it. Do you know what Lou? Not a clue. Do you know anyone? He was a loner. That's all. Farewell. Good day to you. Another thing about... Godwin won't tell me who Lubosh's cronies were. I've reached a complete standstill. I told you, no one ever came here to see him. If he was meeting anyone, it must have been somewhere else. But where? I can't go around the whole county asking, can I? I could end up in Kuttenberg. You might. They might even have records of that scoundrel there. But maybe you don't have to go that far. I just remembered he once boasted to me that he had a record in Rate. There might be some mention there of who was with him at the time. Thank you for your help. May the Lord watch over you. Okay. So, that's a lead. Okay, so we have to go to Rate. Okay, we can go to Rate. Have a look at those melons! Wouldn't they make ah. a fine treat? Feel free to have a knock! Ah. 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 Alright. Okay, hold up. Let me actually equip my proper armor. Because we're going to Rate. There we go. Is a record in Rate. Let's go to the upper gate. It's gonna take us a while, isn't it? I think I'm gonna miss the tourney. Darn. What a shame. It's always next time. Where eventually I'll actually do a tourney on stream and maybe even succeed, who knows?
That was a shockingly uneventful journey. Uh, it's 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 a little odd that the the whole priest side quest could have been completely skipped if the bailiff had just said, "Hey, he has a record in Rate." And his adversary will be. Okay, well, the tourney is already going on, so I'm pretty sure I missed it. So let's uh, head through town, shall we? Gotta stop by the tailor, though, to fix my uh, gambeson. Because it's not in good shape. I also hope that the tailor is actually uh, there. He's probably not. Knowing this, knowing this tailor, he's never in his actual shop. Oh, well, there he is. Okay, he is for once. Good. God be with you. Farewell. Done. Sir. I'm glad to see you. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is that other side quest. I have to, I have to do, I have to do this too. Come back for him. I'll come back to him for that on the stream. I need to have a look in the Black Chronicle, Friedrich. And I need blessed relief from my suffering. May the Lord have mercy. Well, I don't know what I can do for you except bring you a priest. I'm not dying yet. I just can't get up. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm on the trail of those killers from Neuhof, and I need to know the names of the men who were sentenced alongside Limpy Lubosch from Ujitz. I can't remember. Once I write the record down, it goes straight out of my head. It's essential that I find out those names. Is there anything I can do to help you get back to work? I can't go to work when I can't stand on my feet. Konyash the Apothecary has an embrocation that helps, but it costs dearly. If you brought me some, it might do the trick. All right, I'll try and get some for. See you later. Okay, do I have embrocation? And can I make it? Food, right? No, I don't want to have it. Okay, so I. I can. Oops. I can, of course. Looking for things to read. Oh, hey, here we go. Okay, uh... Where's Limpy Lubosch? Lubosch, Lubosch, Lubosch. I don't see him. Or a Baron of Lipa, no. Baron of Stangs, no. I don't see. Oh, here, here. 
Holy Saturday. Okay. Tonda, a foreign farmhand in Vlashim, on Holy Saturday, did testify under trial or by ordeal that he did ride with Lubosh, called Limpy of Ujits, and that they did rob wayward wayside shrines. He did testify that by Talmberg that the, uh, they did rob five horses of the bailiff, from which they did take valuable worth five groschen, and that there was uh, there was present to one Hinnick of Hinnick called Riki. He furthermore testified that they did keep company and dwell in the Hinnick with Hinnick in the woods around Ledechko, where Theft Honda is sent to have his ear cut off. Okay, so Hinnick and Blashim. No, Tonda in Washington. Hinnick and Tonda. Okay. We got it. That's a problem solved right there. I just kind of went in and uh, did it myself. Ow. All right, cool. So, we're on track. Uh, I mean, I can still get the embrocation for him. That won't hurt. I mean, that's good. So, whew. all right, that'll do us. All right, we we have moved on. So, um, I want to wrap up here for the night because I've already been I've been recording this for like an hour. It won't wind up being an hour. I have no idea how long this will be. I've got to edit. But anyway, um, I'm almost a little disappointed that we didn't get to see any real difference. Uh, like, there was no alternative outcome with the priest if you decide not to drink with him. It's just drink with him and all kinds of crazy, sinful shenanigans ensue, or don't, and nothing in particular happens, and you have to find your way around the investigation, which turned out not to be that hard if I asked literally everybody in town. But, um, I digress. I was hoping that there would be, like, let me tell you what I was thinking. I assumed that what was going to happen was instead of him just telling you, which would violate the seal of the confessional, that he would do something clever, uh, which actually the idea comes from a Father Brown story, I forget which one, which is, to be fair, unclear whether it violates the oath, uh, the seal of confession or not. But it's a good narrative way of doing it, where, uh, where, because he mentioned, if you recall in the conversation, uh, he mentioned how he usually, how he'll often tell, uh, tell moral stories and moral tales, like morality tales, as part of his uh, part of his homilies. And so, by doing so, I was expecting that he would sort of anonymize um, the story of what happened with uh, what happened with Luvash, and it would be part of his homily at mass the next morning and that was going to be his creative solution that he was going to come up with in the morning that's kind of what i was expecting like he wanted to help out and he couldn't he knew he couldn't do it in a uh in a direct way and so he could he could sort of suggest hint towards something using uh using it as a um as a an abstracted example in his uh in his homily that's kind of what i was expecting to happen which would have been a really clever way of doing it, but but unfortunately that that didn't didn't happen. Oh well, oh well. Somewhat disappointed in that the that that wasn't an option in terms of the story, uh, in terms of the way the story could go. But but I digress. We've resolved the situation so far. We're gonna continue on from here on Thursday on our live stream. I'll have this in the playlist in between. So. So there is uh, there's very little confusion. There might be some, but there's very little confusion as to what's going on. So, all right, that should uh, that should about do it, and uh, that'll do for tonight. I have been Professor McCoy. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't be safe. Remember, be well, and more importantly, as we've learned here, be good. Thanks, everyone. See you next time.